Officials of Sino Majilak, a mining company at Denton Brit Banjul, have lamented what it calls an unannounced inspection of the company's premises by officials of Banjul City Council. The team, headed by Lord Mayor of Banjul, Rahim Malik Law, visited the site amidst allegations that the company's sign mining activities pose a serious threat to the environment. Here's more of that in this report. The company says that the unannounced inspection by BCC is uncalled for and has only attracted negative energy to the company. The manager of the company, Mr. Alaji Samate, expresses disappointment in the event that occurred on Thursday. He says the manner in which the BCC carried out the inspection was unprofessional. Um, the events that happened here yesterday that unfolded here were quite unfortunate because they could have, they could have carried it in a whole different way, but the way they carried it out, it wasn't very professional and for to have your authorities or you know uh, city personnel or Banjul City Council personnel coming here like that wasn't warranted for. At the conference, Omar Jan, a shareholder in the company, apologizes to the public for his earlier outburst, which he says is very uncharacteristic of him. He however expresses disappointment in the way they are being treated by the authorities adding that all he wants is to invest in his country and contribute to national development. One has to realize and notice my motivation. I am Gambian, born and bred. I love my country. And it's patriotism that drove me to bring this kind of business to Gambia. Gambia is very small. If I had taken this business to Nigeria, the business will generate more money. If I take it to Cote d'Ivoire, it will generate more money. If I take it to Guinea-Bissau, to Senegal, to Benin, it will generate more money. And I have work in West Africa. But I chose Gambia because, I told you before, I made a commitment that I will bring investment in my country. And I love my country. When asked about the allegations that the company is a government business, Mr. Jain denies the allegation, saying neither the government nor the National Disaster Management Agency have shares in the company. Um, all equipment here was procured by me, Omar Jain. And these equipments arrived here over a year and a half ago, in the peak of COVID. And I had to store them at GGC for over a year, paying salaries without the business starting. So that was another provocation and something very hurtful to be accused that this is a government business or these machines belong to the disaster recovery of the country. Sand is used extensively in construction and is valuable for other purposes. However, sand mining leaves devastating effects on the environment, such as land degradation through river or coastal erosion, lowering the water table and a decrease in the amount of sediment supply. Despite the significant negative impact sand extraction has on the environment, this issue has been mostly ignored by policymakers and remains largely unknown by the general public. Reporting for iAfrica TV, I am Harijatu Haitature.